Hello everyone. <coughs> Take two. Hello everyone. Thanks for coming outside with me today. If you're like me, you spend a lot of time in the woods and particularly through tick season, which here in the Northeast is from March to November. It gets really bad in particular around turkey season, the beginning of trout season for us here in PA, and definitely through the summer months when we're hanging stands and checking trail cameras. As you can probably tell from the audio, it's pouring down rain here in the Northeast. It has been for a couple of days, so I'm kind of cooped up, can't really shoot the bow all that much, so I figured I'd come out and share this with you. So the name brand or the off the shelf store brand that you can get to repel or really kill ticks is Sawyer's which contains permethrin which is the main ingredient to help to kill ticks. It is toxic to humans and it's incredibly toxic to cats but it's over 10,000 times more toxic to a tick so you can get away with a very 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 small percentage of permethrin which makes it safe for us as humans as well as for livestock and dogs and other animals. Permethrin 10 so it's 10% permethrin within this bottle of solution and when you pull this off the shelf and you of course peel off the warning label like they tell you to there is an absolute laundry list in here of applications warnings and everything else and no one side is not in English and the other side is in Spanish this is all in English for its many many different uses so permethrin is not just a tick killing spray it's meant to be used for a lot of different types of insects and although this seems a little bit daunting I know I was daunted when I first saw it don't be alarmed do not be uh, scared if you will uh, to use this stuff. It's incredibly safe if you do it the right way. Now before I get into the actual treatment of clothing and all that sort of stuff, this is petroleum based so there is a little bit of an odor to it. It really isn't all that great smelling even if it wasn't petroleum based. Permethrin stinks in of itself. If you were to unscrew Sawyer's for example in Walmart or in your other local big box store like Dick's or Field and Stream, you'd be able to smell it. But it does dissipate with time and quite frankly I would rather deal with the a little bit of odor on my clothes and have to deal with that in the deer and turkey woods, then I would rather have to deal with a tick bite where I can contract Lyme disease and all other sort of tick-borne illnesses. So the idea behind permethrin is that it's incredibly toxic to the tick. So even if it doesn't kill it, on contact or within a few seconds of the tick being on your clothing, it at least will disturb it enough that it will fall off your clothing and you won't take it with you, carry it around the woods with you, and even worse, bring it home to your wife and kids. So the biggest thing I can say is you want to get a spray bottle that is going to be rigid and that is going to last. So I got this from my local Rural King. This is meant to have some pretty heavy duty stuff in it. It's not gonna leak out the bottom side. I don't want this all over my hands when I'm spraying my clothes. You can wear gloves, of course, but it's just a nice an easier step if you have a spray bottle that does not leak. It's also really nice if you have a spray bottle that has the fluid ounce measurements on it because that'll help you do your math to get the permethrin diluted down to the right concentration and the safe concentration. So let's get into some math here. Remember, this is a 10% solution. You can get permethrin in other solutions. For example, you can get a strong in a gallon jug almost, which is a 36% solution. So it's three times stronger than this stuff. That would work just as well, but the math gets a little bit trickier. Since this is a 1 out of 10, 10%, 10, 10 parts, that makes the math of getting this down to the right concentrate level super duper easy. Don't be mixing it too strong because that might make it unsafe for me and my family to use on our clothing. So this is a 26 ounce bottle. So what I will do is I'll fill this with 26 ounces of water. Then I know through the math that I have to add an ounce and a half of the permethrin 10 mixture to get this down to a 0.5% dilution rate, which is safe for me to spray on my clothes. I do like mixing it in a little bit of a larger batch like this. This out will make 27 and a half total ounces of mixture. This one bottle, I actually just refilled it yesterday. This one bottle lasted me two years. Since this is a product that's petroleum based as well as just a chemical product, there's nothing really in here to separate. Uh, it will kind of discolor over time, but it has not lost its effectiveness. I sprayed all my turkey clothes again this year after their last washing. And then I just mixed up a new batch and this just sits on the shelf in my garage. I just don't put in direct sunlight and it seems to be working just fine. So as you can see, I've been using this bottle now for four years. That's how long I've had this bottle and I'm only halfway through it. And I'm able to do all of my hunting clothes, both turkey and deer. Uh, like I said, I'm not really worried about that petroleum smell. It does dissipate over time. The permethrin itself just stinks. So really, even if you did a water base, it's still gonna have an odor to it. 
Whitetails are going to be a pickup on that in the woods, but I'd rather get busted for having a little bit of odor on my clothes than get a tick bite that's going to give me a disease. Application of the product is super duper easy. You want to set your nozzle to as fine a mist as you can safely do. You don't want to be spraying this inside. You don't want to be spraying this out on a windy day. You don't want drift. You don't need that. You don't need it to get on your skin. You don't want to be breathing it in, of course. Take it. I'm not going to spray it today, but you will simply spray it. You will get it so the clothing is simply damp. It doesn't need to be saturated. It doesn't need to be the point where it's dripping wet or the whole shirt's really heavy because it's soaked up all that moisture. Now for my pants, I do like to spray those from top to bottom, from the ankles, the shins, the knees, the thighs, all definitely around the waist where I would have my belt. That's where you're going to see most of the ticks. I'm a pretty tall guy in general too. Even a lot of taller field grasses in turkey season don't reach my waist. So 90 plus percent of the ticks that I find or would come in contact with my body are going to be from the hips down. If you're shorter, you might want to go with more permethrin on more of your body. I just spray pretty much the whole both top and bottom just for good measure. This is not something you want to do right before you go into the woods and you definitely don't want to do it while you're wearing your clothes. Put them on a hanger, spray them a night. I do them a couple nights before just to definitely make sure they're dry. I'll even stick in front of a fan on low settings so it doesn't blow the smell around. Stick it in the garage, stick it in my basement, even stick it outside if the weather is nice and just make sure that they are fully dry. Once they're dry, they're ready to hunt. Now the last step, even though I've sprayed everything with permethrin, is a second step that I've always taken, and that is whenever I get home, regardless of where I was in the woods, I take all of my outer layers off, and even my base layers sometimes, if I've been out for a really long time, take all of them off and throw them in the dryer. Don't throw them in the wash, throw them in the dryer. Set it on a hot, high heat setting for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on if my clothes are already wet from rain or dew or something like that throw them in the dryer, and that heat is actually what kills the ticks. It will dry them out, cause them to desiccate, and cause them to die and be taken out with the dryer. If you try to put them in the wash first, ticks will actually survive the water. That's not their problem. Ticks thrive on moisture. Wet days, wet undergrowth of leaves in the woods, they need, if they are given a dry environment, they will not survive. So I do throw all of my hunting clothes after every single hunt. Like I said, it takes 15, 20 minutes. Throw them in the dryer on a hot setting, let them dry out, let them kill all the ticks and any other bugs that might be in contact with them, and then I can pull them out, hang them up, and they're ready to go for the next hunt. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about how I use permethrin or anything else involving archery in the outdoors, follow the links in the description below. You can hit up my Facebook, my Instagram, my emails down there, and of course you can always leave a comment here on YouTube. Hope you're able to get outside, enjoy the sport of archery, enjoy the sport of archery hunting if you so choose. Definitely enjoy God's beautiful creation, hopefully a little more tick-free, and we'll get to see you next time.